Okay, Dr. Metters here again. Hope we're doing fine. I'm going to have a little short demonstration on the two fixed function or method, if you want to, if you will. Our, all right. So in this example, we got our HTML code at the top, and then the corresponding ending HTML code tags at the bottom. Um, let's see. Um, we don't really need all of this, but we can leave it in there. That's I borrowed that from other other code we use. But right here, this is important. I'm going to grab input from the keyboard all right and so I'm going to prompt the user to enter num1 and whatever's in quotes there is going to be entered in as a value now inside these parentheses for the prompt um, once the user enters in the value it's going to go into a variable called num1 now inside the parentheses you've got the, the comment that will appear as part of the prompt all right the prompt description if you will or prompt not description but the prompt statement that they'll see to tell them what to do and then a comma and then es for empty string so we are using empty string right here now if you don't put empty string uh, the prompt will fill in kind of undefined values or an undefined value for its for its prompt ver um, text so in the text box there so to speak it's going to be a prompt text box if you do not put empty string or some other value then what will happen is it will just default to something else so you want to default to to some value in this case we're going to blank it out null it out which is empty string is going to be quote quote you could have easily put quote quote right here now once we enter that all right once the user entered that what we're doing demonstrating the two fixed um, method now two fixed will actually let you take a floating point value remember we have to convert a number we get or a value we get to um, to floating point, so we say num1 that we retrieved above is equals to parse float num1. That's going to let me put in a decimal and retrieve it and pull out a decimal, document write a decimal. If it's an int parse int, that's a whole number or an integer, not a decimal. Now what, what the two fixed does is it says num1 two fixed to two decimal places, to four decimal places and to six decimal places. So I'm demonstrating the use of that. The code is over here, so let's go run it. Function uh, F. Whoops, hang on a minute. So enter the number. We're going to say, you know, 88.23489. And you see how the original value. Let me show it. right here the original value is in, indicated up above. But what we're doing here, and actually, uh, since we didn't put a string in there, this is really not even being used. So in other words, since we did not declare, since we didn't do a parse float on it, that's why it's giving us the, the whole amount. So it's literally displaying it out as a text. So t so you could actually, I could have just taken that out. All right. So it's it's remember remember a value you enter in is treated as a text. Even if you enter in numeric, you must convert it with parse float or parse int to a number. So you essentially say num1 is equal to parse float of num1. It converts what's on the left now becomes an integer. I'm sorry, a, a, a numeric. In this case, a floating point. And so then you can see that this line here goes with the um, 8.23. And so it's 88.23489. So it's going to give me the two decimal places. And then the four decimal places, whoops, and then the six, I didn't have a six one, but we could have, and it's just filling it in. All right, I'm going to press F5 again, run it again, and we'll say 1.23589, we'll just put a bunch of values in here. And you can see how it even carries it out, and what it does with two six, and you notice it rounds it. So if I say two fixed, Parentheses 2. What you put in parentheses is the number of decimal places you want. It's going to take the 5 here because it's going to go to two decimal places and round it up to, to a 4. Boom. Thank you very much. Have a great day.